in celebration praise come on and celebrate 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 and sing celebrate and sing to the lord come on and celebrate 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 and sing celebrate and sing to the lord today's mass is being offered for the soul of Josephine, Thanksgiving Mass by Mary. And today in a very special way, we pray for Father Lawrence, our parish priest, who celebrates his birthday. Let us wish him many more happy years. And may God bless him in a special way that the concern and love with which he ministers to all those who are entrusted to his care May God, may his life be filled with God's good gifts. And also a very special way, we remember and pray for his family members and also pray for him for his good health so that he may serve us with his wisdom, knowledge and prudence. Let us pray in a very special way. Let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, today's readings is very much demanding. We are to love our enemies, do good to others, those who hate us, pray for those who treat us badly, to give it to others without any hope or expectations of a return, not to condemn others, but to forgive others. These are some of the radical teachings of Jesus. We have struggled to be completely selfless in our giving. When we give, we expect something in return. It is hard that we can expect nothing in return. But God doesn't give with a view to his view to receiving. He was laying in his life for us and gained eternal life for those who believe in him. His giving was life giving for himself and for others. Today Jesus asks us to be God like in our loving and in our giving. Today Jesus is calling us to live loving lives, lives which reflect the loving life of Jesus, treating others not as they deserve, but as God wishes them to be, like kindness and compassion and mercy. As we celebrate this Holy Eucharist, let us ask God's grace to reveal God in us by doing good to others, by treating others as God wishes them to be. Let us pray for this grace during this Holy Eucharist. And also let us ask God's pardon and mercy for the time we fail to love our brothers and sisters who hurt us. And let us ask God's pardon and mercy for the time we fail to do good to others let us ask God's mercy upon us by saying, I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and to you, and you my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I, I have greatly, greatly sinned, sinned in, my in my thoughts and in my words, words in, in what, what I have done and in what I have failed to do, to do through, through my fault, through, through my fault, through my most grievous, grievous fault. Therefore, Therefore, I ask of Blessed Mary, our Virgin, Virgin all, all the, the angels and saints, and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, to pray for, for me to the, to the Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. 
Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brethren, knowledge pops up, but love builds up. If anyone imagines that he knows something, he does not yet know as he ought to know. But if anyone loves God, he is known by God. Therefore, as to the eating of food offered to idols, we know that an idol has no real existence, and that there is no God but one. For although there may be so-called gods in heaven or on earth, as indeed there are many gods and many lords, yet for us there is one God, the Father, for whom are all things and for whom we exist, and one Lord, Jesus Christ through whom are all things and through whom we exist. However, not all possess this knowledge, but some, through former association with idols, eat food as really offered to an idol, and their conscience, being weak, is defiled. And so by your knowledge, this weak person is destroyed the brother for whom Christ died. Thus, sinning against your brothers and wounding their conscience when it is weak, you sin against Christ. Therefore, if food makes my brother stumble, I will never eat meat, lest I make my brother stumble. The word of the Lord. Our responsorial psalm, lead me, Lord, in the way everlasting. Lead me, Lord, in the way everlasting. O oh Lord, you search me and you know me. You yourself know my resting and my rising. You descend my thoughts from afar. You mark when I walk or lie down. You know all my ways through and through. Our response, lead me, Lord, in the way everlasting. For it was you who formed my inmost being knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you for wonderfully made me. How wonderful are your works, our response. Lead me, Lord, in the way everlasting. Oh, search me, God, and know my heart. Oh, test me and know my thoughts. See that my part is not wicked, and lead me in the way everlasting, our response. Lead me, Lord, in the way everlasting. Gospel acclamation. Sing Alleluia, sing Alleluia, Alleluia. If we love one another, God abides in us and his love is imperfected in us. Sing. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, I say to you who hear, love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who abuse you. To one who strikes you on the cheek, 
offer the other also. And from one who takes away your cloak, do not withhold your tunic either. Give to everyone who begs from you. And from one who takes away your goods, do not demand them back. And as you wish that others would do to you, do so to them. If you love those who love you, what benefit is that to you? For even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what benefit is that to you? For even sinners do the same. And if you lend to those who, from whom you expect to receive, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners to get back the same amount. But love your enemies and do good and lend expecting nothing in return and your reward will be great and you will be sons of the Most High for He is kind to the ungrateful and the evil. Be merciful even as your fathers is merciful. Judge not and you will not be judged. Contempt not and you will not be contempt. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Give and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be put into your lap. For with the measure you use it, will be measured back to you. The Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Take thou the offering thy children make, all united for thy name's sake. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, we offer thee this sacrifice. Show to us thy mercy, O Lord. Forgive us the sins of our life. Take thou the offering thy children make. All united for thy name's sake. To thee, O Lord, our joys we give. Our weariness, our work and woe, the anxious moments that we live, lighten our burden as we go. Take thou the offering thy children make, all united for thy name's sake. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks father most holy through your beloved son jesus christ your word through whom you made all things whom you sent as our savior and redeemer incarnate by the holy spirit and born of the virgin fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death 
and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God, God of, of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the, the highest. highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and endured willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was entered, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Anil, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased to you throughout the ages, we may merit to be cohesed to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <coughs> through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and informed to by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom name. come, thy will, will be, be done. done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation 
but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Jesus, you are my salvation. Jesus, you're my inspiration. Jesus, you're the treasure of my life. Jesus, you offer new sight to the blind, healing the crippled, the deaf, and the mute. Cleansing the leper and banishing ills, raising the dead to life.
Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life, through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is entered. Go in peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Kindly take the prayer. Prayer for the diamond jubilee year of the Archdiocese. O God of eternal love and compassion, we, we thank, thank you for, for the, the gift, gift of the Archdiocese, Archdiocese of Delhi. As, as we celebrate, celebrate the diamond jubilee of the Archdiocese, Archdiocese grant us a fresh outpouring of your spirit, spirit so that, that learning from the self-giving love of Christ on the, on the cross, we might, we might become, become a church that, that makes giving, giving of herself to others her joyful vocation, vocation life, life to the needs of others, may we may share, share the good news of faith, faith hope, love, love, joy and justice with all peoples. With, with the jubilee motto, love, love is our norm and, and service our lifestyle, we look towards the most sacred, sacred heart of Jesus to help us make this jubilee year a time of renewal where our parishes and institutions become signs of God's kingdom and beacons of God's saving love to all. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O most sacred heart of Jesus, make our hearts like unto thine. Mary, our mother, intercede for us. Remember, O most, o most gracious Virgin Mary, Mary that, that never was it known, that anyone who fled to your protection, protection implored your help, sought your intercession, was left and aided, inspired, inspired with this confidence, I fly to you, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother, to you I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful, O Mother of God incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in your mercy, hear and answer me, Amen. Mary, Queen of Peace and Channel of all graces, pray for us. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing, I will sing, I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord with my mouth. Thy faithfulness, thy faithfulness, with my mouth will I make known thy faithfulness to all generations. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever, I will sing. I will sing, I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord.